let me let me see what we got here, Martin. <clears throat> you ready to get into that lighthouse, man? Sure. <laughs> <Right there. laughs> Looks like we've been there too long already. Yeah, I know. I look like Shaft as a postman. <laughs> <laughs> What's a timber man want with being a wiki? Just looking to earn a living. It's like any man. Starting new. I was getting weak in the knees, getting them beanie legs. <laughs> Listen to him. I forgot to tell you that Talk now it's just not the classic black tooth, the white logo, but it comes in other flavors. Uh, as I said yesterday, we got salmon belly. Uh, <laughs> there's black right there. It's like kind of all black. Uh, there's a, Is that blue? That's navy? navy. Navy right there. And uh, some like off green or something right, right. so yeah so we got other things coming also we got the slides those other shoes yeah. i'm gonna be honest with y'all i'm gonna be completely honest with you I, and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna tell you about something uh illegal that i did so i was mad that they didn't give us a screening because i heard about it uh late not only did i did we not get a screening but i didn't even know it was out mm -hmm. i had to hear from uh gertz and uh rose over there they they're bragging and he, oh, we just saw the lighthouse and i'm like well you. And I'm like, what? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm sorry. I just really wanted to see it. I know it's open. <laughs> but, <laughs> Don't know where that hostility came from. Sorry. Uh, forgive me. But so I went online and torn at that movie, man. Mm -hmm. And it served me right. I tried to see, I had to go. I, I, that's why I had to go to the theater later. I told you it was like a last minute what, thing. You spent all morning trying to get the virus off your computer. <laughs> <laughs> no, I spent all morning just trying to watch the movie. <laughs> I mean, and I gave it a good, I mean, I gave it a, a good shot, too, because I was like, well, shit, I'm reviewing the movie. I'm doing my job. They should have let us in for free. Right, right, so I'm right. So I'm going I'm to pirate this shit. And I tried, and uh, let me cut this down, because I, I don't want y'all to get the audio, and then I really get in trouble. But I tried to watch it, and it was a, it was a struggle, because... Whoever was recording this, because first of all, it wasn't even like a nice rip of it. It was uh, it was done from a camera. Yeah, okay. And they had the auto focus on, so every time it got dark, that shit got blurry. Oh, so no. I was, <laughs> so I was riding with it for a while, trying to get into it, and then and let me see if it'll do it. Uh, and then out of nowhere, while I'm watching this, let me see if this oh, will happen that's here. Awful. That is terrible right there. Aspect ratio was off, but while I'm watching this, yeah. and it'll pop up in a little bit. There it is. You know I had a yeah. goddamn what? piñata come in. <laughs> got, they, they trolled you. They said, "Well, it was. It's a commercial." But you know, this is first of all, they had Arabic writing and everything on there. But then they had a Mexican piñata drop. <laughs> Yeah, and I'm not gonna even let it play because I ain't gonna even let you see what the business is. But they and they went through the shit stayed up there for five minutes with somebody actually trying to bust it open. <laughs> you know, <laughs> it was actually like being at a party. I was trying to watch the movie and somebody was trying to bust that shit. It kept missing it and everything. <laughs> and then when they busted it open, the commercial fell out. And then I was yeah. like, Fuck "This man." So I just got up and just went to the to the theater to go see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. Yeah, like I said, I was it was all cropped crazy and everything. So I just so I just paid paid to go see it. And uh and actually I didn't, but I'm not gonna tell you what happened. <laughs> uh, I don't mind supporting. I just had, you know, I'm just going through a small period of entitlement, Martin. But mm -hmm. I I don't mind paying it because for one thing, it's from A twenty four. And A twenty four as far as I'm concerned, they have created just a whole new genre subgenre. A film, yeah. Uh, what the f horror? Yeah, <laughs> you yeah. know they've done a lot of that. Yeah, they got it's movies with with horrifying elements and themes in them, mm -hmm. but you really can't be scared because when it's done, you're like, "What the f was that?" <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know. <laughs> but critics, how, how'd you feel about it? I don't know what I just. Saw. I don't know. Yeah, but but critics, they they still love them because they, they, they're doing something different and new. No, because no one wants to sound stupid. <laughs> 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 No one wants to be the one is to say, I don't know what the f is happening. You, you liked it though, right? Oh, yeah. yes, of course. And, you who, know, who wouldn't like it? Yeah, that? yeah. I mean, it helps that they're artsy too. Mm -hmm. You know, like uh, uh, when critics see them, they, they appreciate the art in it, like uh, with uh, Hereditary. Sure. It's heartening to see so many strange new faces here today. I know my mom would be very touched. You know, it's uh, you can't deny that that is some amazing. Filmmaking, very creative with the camera angles and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And then on top of that, critics get to go home and and write things like, oh, the dark themes of family and loss. Mm -hmm. But then I guarantee you, I said, yeah, but what happened at the end? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you know? 
Well, I mean, you know, it's sort of a, I mean, when, yeah, as long you just have to see it. They are so happy you can't spoil shit because they, they had to tell you the end of it. They'd be like, I don't know. Oh, if I told you, it'd be spoiling it. Yeah. Plus, I have no clue. You <laughs> have no clue at all. But amazing imagery in there. Uh, same director did one of our, now a lot of people split on that. Some people split on this movie. Same director did a movie that we love, also from A24, mm -hmm. Midsummer. Mm -hmm. It's sort of a crazy festival. Special ceremonies and dressing up. Why do you trust a motherfucker like that to take you to a festival? Look at him. He can't even look at you right <laughs> Do you want to go? <laughs> no, <I'm> sorry. <laughs> a lot of great artistic production going on with this. But even then, through half, the, I mean, as much as we loved it, throughout half the movie, like, I don't know what the happened. I don't know we eating and drinking for free. <laughs> Oh come on! Now. You understand? <laughs> no, no, no. We no. I, that is one of my favorite movies of the year. Mm -hmm. Loved it. Loved it. So you know, and I, and I love that aspect about these movies, man. I mean, even though you might not understand what's going on right off the bat, I respect that. Sure. Uh, and we seem to be going down the same path with these two crazy motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Robert Pattinson and Willem Dafoe in this movie from director Robert Eggers, uh, The Lighthouse. And with this one, unlike the other two, the other two kind of start out with, you know, somewhat of a plot. Yeah. They try to tell you somewhat uh, of what's happening. Uh, now with these two from the beginning, they let you know, no, this shit is insane. Okay. This shit is crazy. Is it mildly crazy or is it batch Nuts. Okay. Is what it is. Okay. Like, if you thought that those other two movies, Hereditary and Midsummer, were crazy that we're talking about, bring a straight jacket to this shit. Okay. <laughs> because this shit is insane right here. It, you know, you're going to spend two hours with two dudes just getting drunk and losing their goddamn minds. You know, with this, uh, you have Robert Pattinson playing a guy called Winslow, a young man who... He's uh he's you get the feeling that he's running from something or trying to start over. So he takes this job in the middle of just nowhere for four weeks at this lighthouse okay. with this, this this lighthouse keeper who's probably been there a little too long. Uh huh. <laughs> you know, <laughs> <laughs> you know he's he's happy to. It would be four hours. He. Yeah. <laughs> He, I mean, my man is just, he's happy to have somebody around to 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 boss around. Uh-huh. And yeah, he's, I mean, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 you know what? Watching this is like watching a art house crazy <laughs> Sanford and Son. <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I, I, I gotta say, man, you're, you're selling me on it right now. <laughs> this is like watching an art house Sanford and Son with two crazy white people in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> look, like, like, look at this shit. That's what you know. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, that's 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 what Fred and Lamont want to do to each other half the time. Yeah, he's coming in for four weeks to do custodial work, pretty much. And after that, after that four weeks is done, you know, he's 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 good. Uh -huh. But only if he's doing his job correctly, because Willem Dafoe, who plays Tom, is watching his every move and documenting oh, his no. every move. Uh, sounds pretty simple, right? <laughs> <laughs> sounds pretty straightforward. Let's, I suppose. <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look at the trailer, which trailer blew up online when it came out because it's crazy. Uh -huh. How long have we been on this rock? Five weeks? Two days? Help me to recollect. When it starts out, it starts out relatively, relatively normal. I say relatively because, you know, if you can relate to this situation in a way you can, uh -huh. if you can relate to this situation, then it is kind of, kind of normal for you, even though it's a, it's a, it's a period piece because, uh, watching this is like, if I worked at a lighthouse with my daddy, man, right, <laughs> right, my, right, right, if me right, and my, right. if me and my father were working at a lighthouse together, cause there was so many moments in here where, where Tom, uh, he's, I mean, you know, you have Tom and Winslow. Winslow again is Robert Pattinson and Tom is Willem Dafoe. Tom is just on Winslow's ass, man. Mm -hmm. I mean, hard. It's like some boot camp type shit, but it's like, it, it reminded me when I went to go work at my father's gas station mm -hmm. 
And he would just be telling me shit to do all day. And not only telling me to do them, but telling me to do them over again when I was doing them right. Mm-hmm. And, and telling me I was doing them wrong when I was doing them right. So he's playing psychological games? With yeah, he was, yeah, he was just like, yeah, shit I didn't even know how to do. He was telling me to do. And watching this, if anybody ever had a father or a parent or any kind of guardian that just, yeah, yeah you? Yeah. That just, you know, and for them, just gave you tough love or just thought you were up and just really just want to are you were a disappointment to them and they just want to f- with you mm-hmm. then you can relate to this film what do you call that sir and i say you swab it again and you swab it proper like this time and you'll be swabbing it 10 times more after that Shit. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> hey you take this mop yourself you old no. man you know what I did when I was watching the movie? I went to the Janice Clause and just started mopping the floor. And shit. I had flashbacks. Yes, yeah, sir. Yeah, daddy. You know what? And it doesn't help that through the uh, the whole movie because Robert Pattinson he just he just hates his mother. Man, even from, from the yeah, yeah. first day, from the first, and it doesn't help that Thomas just keeps snorting and farting and. <laughs> <laughs> and he knows, and when he's farting, he he knows that he's he he does it to sometimes just f- with Winslow, uh-huh. because he'll be he'll be walking out the room, be at the door, and before he actually takes a step out, he'll lift a leg, lift up an ass cheek, and, <laughs> and, <just, laughs> and Winslow is just sitting up there just shaking his head like I'm gonna kill this mother, <laughs> and it's and it's not and, and and it's not helped that with everything that is driving him crazy. It doesn't help that throughout the movie, throughout the whole film, there's that that horn, that that that, that dude that uh, 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 Inception horn, uh-huh, <laughs> you uh-huh, know, uh-huh, uh-huh. and it just keeps going and going, and it gets to a point where Wait, it kind of is that the fog horn and let the ships know. That, yeah, okay. Yeah, except there's no ships coming. <laughs> it's just these two assholes. <laughs> 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 it's, it's almost like that horn even the horn is with him man, because nobody's coming what is it that's keeping Pat, Pattinson there well his his well uh, there's no ship to come out and get them okay there's gonna be somebody to come out uh take him take him away mm-hmm. and also check to see he's always talking about a foreman or a supervisor that's coming out because uh in the movie he's so man this dude is so he really, this is what makes you kind of frustrated. He really is doing his job, man. Yeah. Or at least, that's what we see from his point of view. He really is doing his job because he doesn't want to drink. Tom is always trying to get him to, to do a drink. You know, you can't leave me toasting by myself, boy. <laughs> you know, and he's like, I, no. He's like, I don't, man, I'm trying to do my job. Just leave me f- alone, <laughs> you know. And he doesn't want to drink. He just wants to do his job. And uh, and he's always talking about I don't want to do anything to mess up uh, my my performance when the when the supervisor comes out. So and 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 there are other things to tell you why he's on this job okay. Okay. that I can't even reveal. Okay. All right, fair enough. But <laughs> there are uh, and it, and it's explained why he won't leave, other than just being completely isolated too, mm-hmm. uh, which is a big uh, part of uh, of the movie. So in the movie. Everything, I mean, look, this guy's having a hard time with this job. He's tired of this guy just riding him through this whole thing. He, uh, but, but still, it's nothing unusual. Mm-hmm. But then this f- seagull appears. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so I take it this seagull is the equivalent of black film. Man, this seagull, well, that's the thing, man. If I, okay, so this director, Robert Eggers, you know this guy, if, a, if, a, if an animal appears in his movie, mm-hmm. shit's about to go down. Uh-huh. You know, this is the guy that brought us the same asshole as Black Phillip. Yeah. <laughs> you know, don't, which, don't which, sleep on Black Phillip. Don't sleep on Black Phillip, which must be. Black Phillip has become a horror icon himself. Because not only, Black Phillip got a Funko, a Funko figure. Oh, wow. And I think he might even be in a black metal band. <laughs> so, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's all. That's an awesome shirt, isn't it? I wa- I'm getting that shirt, man. I even though that shirt existed until today, but also, I mean, even in that movie, he had that coked out rabbit that kept oh, looking right. at people. So when that man, when that seagull pops up, and you know the, you know things because not even it's not even like a normal seagull. It's like a it's like a, a like a Popeye seagull. Like it's got one eye, oh. and it just keeps looking at Robert Pat like ah ah and. Right, and, and he's like, this is the last thing I need because 
He's like, not only is Willem Dafoe with me, but now you, <laughs> because it, that's what he's like. Like he's rolling a wheelbarrow, and that seal is just at the door, just looking at where the fuck you going. Ah! <laughs> and he's like, he tries to move, man, <laughs> move. He's like, no, no. <laughs> and, and and he wants to kill this seagull so bad, and he's about to do it. He because he even tells his boss, Tom. He's like, man. Seagull got one more time. You're like, nah, it's a bad luck to kill a bird out here in the lighthouse. It's true. It brings bad omens. Everybody, and he's like, motherfucker, nah, I got both y'all. <laughs> <laughs> and, and that's when things start to get. To <laughs> oh, that's get, when. That's, look, because <laughs> like I said, man, th- and, and, and yes, they are. They are already weird because uh, when you're watching the film, Oh shit! When you're watching the film, no, the music came in like oh, shit, that. Seagulls here. <laughs> when you're watching, uh, when you're watching the film, uh, there's already strange things that have start to pop up. Uh, Tom doesn't want Winslow in that in the top of the lighthouse. He doesn't want him to see the light. Meanwhile, Tom is up there jacking off with an octopus or something. We don't know what's going on. Is it a vision? Is it something supernatural? We don't know. Uh, you see visions of tentacles popping oh. up in the place, slime dripping down. They're, they're having weird dreams of mermaid, which, again, ladies, excuse my French here, but uh, mermaid pussy. <laughs> Solomon Tay. Okay. All right. I think it's real, y'all. If you ever want to know, man, you know, if I, if I ever meet Ariel, because she's fine as hell, how am I going to actually have sex with her? This shows you how. You get all kind of answers here. Very educational too. All you know, all these weird dreams and whatnot, but they all get amplified. Like they all just, you know, it, everything just you know goes to eleven when this uh, when this seagull pops up, man. This, I mean, there's so much of what I see in this trailer that keeps reminding me of early David Lynch, like a racer head. Well, because well, it's in black and white, and uh-huh. you have all the weird imagery that's in there. So yeah. yes, it's very, as you know, the 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 the, the cinema people say, very Lynchian, <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Even then, because like I say, man, it's just, it's just, it looks like a seafood platter at first, but then it t- takes on kind of a yeah. sexual tone in a way. It, it's a, a <laughs> typical porn, all right. Yeah. Uh-huh. Or in Japan, just porn. Why did I get turned on and go to Red Lobster now? But, but uh, and at first it's kind of cool because, Winslow and and as crazy as things get, Winslow and Tom they kind of squash the tension. They kind of you know they kind of uh, let it go. But then there are moments where they start like they really start getting into each other. They start dancing. They start singing. And uh, you know they, man, they really know how to party. It's like man, this is kind of cool. It's really kind of fun. These guys, you know, they kind of getting along for a while. But then the alcohol starts kicking in. Oh no! And then and then they uh, they start opening up. They start revealing things because they start feeling a little honest with each other. Uh-huh. And then the honesty turns into confessions. Confessions turn into dark secrets. And then that's where we get A24 with the what the f*** are. Oh. <laughs> like once these secrets are revealed, uh-huh. that's when things take on a very metaphorical turn in this. Oh, are, are, okay. are they? At this point, mm. you hit. You, this is where we hit the point where we don't know what is happening. Instead of giving you an in... This gives you homework. Mm-hmm. You know, you want to know what the end of this means, what 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 happened? Do your research, bitch. <laughs> you know, that's what the internet is for. They're like, no, that's what endings are for, man. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. But in uh hmm, you but, had me pumped until now. But that uh, and that's why I'm, I'm saying I would not recommend this to you mm-hmm. because I don't know I, I you know, I, and this is not an insult to your intelligence or anything like that. You and I are splitting these things where I like leaving a theater trying to figure out things. Uh, on my own. I like having theories. Yeah. I like knowing. Uh, I like thinking about. Okay, how does this connect? What did this mean? Because there are a lot. You know, there are there are images here where they don't explain them. Yeah. There are images from the past that they don't explain that you have to kind of piece together. And you really will have to go home and <clears throat> read theories, uh, kind of make up things on your own here. And what I like about it is that that's not. It's not that that is just stuff to throw you off. The filmmaker knows what he's doing. Yeah. He's just not laying it out there, and, and you know what? And even and even then, even when you wa- you're watching this and you got all this weird stuff going on, and maybe you don't like that, you can't deny the filmmaking is pretty incredible. Yeah, I can the, see that. The cinematography in this, 
uh, you know, it's uh, black and white, and it's done in this weird aspect ratio, you know, like almost like a 16 millimeter film. Yeah. But uh, what I like about it is that I love how it gets, how the cinematography gets dirtier and crazier. Uh, as these guys do, like, you know, the party's done. Once they start shitting in pots, god damn, I'm serious about this movie, Martin. What you looking at? <laughs> you know? When they start shitting in pots, they start walking around on filth, on pissing and vomiting and everything. Uh, it's still beautiful, but as 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 these guys get crazier, they destroy that last man. They, they, you know what I'm saying? They wreck the fuck out of that. It's that kind of shit where you say, hey, look, when I leave this lighthouse, I'll be back in four weeks, no parties. And they're like, all right. <laughs> you come back, you're like, what the fuck? What y'all do, man? <laughs> the, the cinematography, the cinematography re- reflects that, man. As these guys get more insane, their environment gets more insane. It reflects their madness. Okay. It reflects them falling apart. The the uh, the storm outside rages higher Jeez. as they go more insane. Uh-huh. So everything is in rhythm with each other. Okay. As things become more insane. The production gets more insane. Mm-hmm. And I really like that with it. It, gets, it becomes more cha- chaotic. And you've seen uh, the performances here. You know, these two these two guys. Now, Robert Pattinson, I'll tell you, he's one of my favorite actors today. Right, right. And he, and he is good. It's funny because you can kind of hear hints of his accent from Good Time come out. It's oh, really? like At first, you were like, yarr. He was talking like a pirate. Yeah. And then he was talking like he was from Brooklyn. Okay. After a while, and I was like, "All right, I, I, you're great in this, but I, that accent, maybe I just don't know. You know, I'll let it slide." But Willem Dafoe, man, that is—he's the one that that truly transforms in this. He's the one that uh, actually is. Uh, he's given a performance that you have never seen him do do before. I'm going to say, you know, I don't look. I'm no Oscar expert or Academy Award expert, but I'm going to say that he, if if he doesn't, he should get an Oscar nomination. This is one of the best performances of the year. I had never seen him in a, uh, in a role like this or be this person before. And I've seen him play a lot of things. Mm-hmm. But he's, he, is, he is amazing in this. I, I will say for other people, like, I noticed it. I didn't mind it too much because I was really into the artistry of the film. Yeah. And trying to figure out what was happening. But for a lot of people out there, I can understand if you're saying, like, okay, this goes on a little too long, too. Look, you can only watch two motherfuckers go crazy for so long, you know? <laughs> Before they start acting like real drunks at the bar, like get them the fuck out of here. Right, right. <laughs> you, know? right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, it stops being fun after a while. Yeah, yeah. And 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 again, I think that that's the point of the movie. Mm-hmm. They're supposed to be going into madness, and that's yeah. what's happening right here. And I think the movie conveys that very well. Uh, again, it's not going to give you any answers, but that's kind of what the movie wants you to do. And as I said, there are answers there. This is a guy who incorporated some, probably some mythology that we that, that we don't know about because I know by the end of this, uh, some of this was uh, taken. Now I don't know how it really fits in. I have to look more, but there's an image at the end that says, "Okay, this is taken straight from Greek mythology right here." Oh, okay. And I don't really know where it plays in mm-hmm. yet. And even there's something that happens earlier in the movie where they don't give you any answers. And I was like, I can see how this relates to Greek mythology. So something is there. Yeah. They're just not spelling out for you, and I like that. Mm-hmm. But then you got to keep in mind, I'm the person that, I'm the person that liked uh, uh, movies that people, that people hated, you know, like this. Oh, I was just about that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, that cricket going off. <laughs> <laughs> cricket got the DTS. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but that is that is mother. That was a movie that uh, was hated by people. He has pictures of you in his luggage. What were you doing in their luggage? And I love this movie because I thought it was a metaphor for something out there, and it was. You know, a lot of people didn't see it, and they hated it for one particular thing. But I understand why people didn't, but it appealed to me. So, you know, that's that's probably a barometer for you right there on how to judge this. Uh, another one, again, from what the f*** A24, you know, uh, is uh, Enemy. Anthony Clare. Three six five zero Rathburn Road. I'm so, I'm sorry. I, th- I think there's been a misunderstanding. How is this? You know, this is a movie that uh, you hated. It had uh, Jake Gyllenhaal playing dual roles, and you hated it. And I can understand why. Loved it up until the end. Up until the end. Yeah, and see, and I, and I love that ending. Mm-hmm. And uh, so yeah, that's why I'm saying I'm I'm hesitant to to let I you know you. I got you. because I and and there's a lot of people who are like you, man. You know, it's it's funny, but like knowing that's coming would make me be okay with it. 
But you know, I said that whole Sanford and Son thing. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of that, and that's gonna make you like it up yeah. until a certain point. <laughs> and even then, I think the 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 ending, the image is is more obvious than some of these other things we were talking about. Sure. It's not, you have to figure out how it works into the, the rest of the film. But you're a smart guy; you figure it out. Okay. So yeah, I you know I uh, a lot of people they come out the movie and they like say, "Man, I I gotta think about this." You know, I don't I don't know. I don't I, I, I don't know how I feel. And I'm like, shit, I know how I feel. <laughs> Too crazy my <laughs> <laughs> and 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 a and a and a and a and a, and a, 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 a lighthouse and one is a mermaid and you know it's like I'm like, yeah, man, I this is my thing right here. I I, I love this. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know, and oh, it's a it's a it's a low full price for me. But okay. I this is All my right. this is my shit right here, man. All right. Yeah, All right. yeah, I, I really enjoyed this. I, I now I have to think about it. It was one of my best movies of the year. Uh-huh. But as far as uh, you can have a movie that you get full price and it's not on your list. Sure, oh but yeah, I, all the time. I love this shit, and it's you know, and for nothing else, I loved it for the artistry and the performances, man. Okay. Hey, did you you saw it, Gertz? What'd you think, man? Come on, real quick. What did you? I kind of because you from, from the cackling, I, I'm thinking Gertz loved it. <laughs> I, you can never tell. He cackles at things. That, at, when, he, he cackles at other people's misery. So That's you can't true. tell. It's true. But you, but you, the one that told me, like, man, I gotta think about this. I did, yeah, because um, I'm usually like pretty decisive on whether or not I like something or not. But this one, I was like, there are definitely parts of it that I like a lot. Yeah. Like it, it looks beautiful. It sounds amazing. The acting's great. But yeah, I, was just, I think I just need, really need to sit with it. And after I sat with it, I think I. I I really did coming out, out liking it quite a bit. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I really love uh, The Witch. It was probably yeah. my favorite movie that year. Yeah. Um, this is not nearly as like if The Witch is far more cut and dry than this was. Like The Witch, like kind of establishes early on. Yes, there's a witch, and she is messing with this family <laughs> and ruining their lives. This one's just like, I don't know what like it because you are watching people go insane, and I think it seems like it, that's the intent of the movie. It's like you feel like you're going crazy while you're watching it at points. But it's never boring. Uh, parts of it are just really messed up, but also parts of it are really funny. Like you're saying, the Sanford's not like Willem <laughs> Dafoe just farting and yelling and just like, just yeah, just to mess with people and uh, <laughs> like like having like these weird like mood shifts, like turning on a dime. Uh, it's a very unpredictable movie, but overall, man, I, I think I'm with you. I'm I'm giving it a full price. Like, I really enjoyed it. And I I like this director a lot because... Yeah, all, I do too. All of his stuff, even, like, if you don't initially get it or you're just like, I'm not sure what he's going for, it still somehow manages, like, to feel deliberate. Yeah, Martin, well, there you go, Martin. You'd, well, pro- you'd probably hate it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, if I do, you you guys will be hearing about it. I just want you to know, if you watch it, I didn't tell you to do it. Yeah, it sounds like... I, no, I didn't tell <laughs> I told you, you might hate it. I hope you're watching and you like it and you come back and say, damn, Corey, that was good. But keep in mind, I didn't tell you to watch this. Just come back and go, like, damn, fuck. Hit me with a fish. <laughs> I don't know. How's that boy? <laughs> well, hopefully they'll send it to us in the, in the screener package. Yeah. Yeah. No, you like it. Oh, you can take my copy. Be like, <laughs> <laughs> give me that. Like, I liked your copy better. Yeah. <laughs> my favorite part was the pinata. Yeah, give you that pinata version right there. <laughs> <laughs> director's cut where the pinata comes in. <laughs> you know, the, the, the quality of this bootleg you got here is like the movies that my uncle will bring with yeah. the family gathering. Yeah. So it's like being at a child's birthday party where you're trying to look past the pinata yeah. <laughs> and see the little bootleg movie on the TV. Well, f- the fuck, the f- movie's so weird. I thought, well, maybe that's the yeah, director probably. doing everything. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> oh, that wasn't supposed <laughs> to be in there? Huh. It kind of made more sense with the pinata, but all right. Hmm. Thanks for watching, everybody. You made it to the end of the video. That means your ass ain't going nowhere. You're going to stick with me forever. So hit that subscribe button, get notifications, and check out our main site, doubletoasted.com. Why? Because over there, you're going to find the long version of this video and many others, uncensored, unedited, and also the many live streams that we do almost every night of the week. I'm so tired, but you make it worth it. I work so hard for you. Do something for me. Go check out our store, dtmerch.com. Support us over there. And you know what? If nothing else, you forget everything I just said. Just do one thing for me. Stay toasty.